Does that hear us? Why does it look... No, I did. Fuck it. Uh, Grand Inferno's just gonna die. <laughs> yeah. No! Grand Inferno was not strong enough. Okay, Grand Inferno got him down to half health, though. Oh, yeah. It was a valiant sacrifice. Find something that isn't... Like, wasn't he using uh, earth moves or whatever? Like, ground Fly, moves? Fly, uh, ground type. Oh, which would mean Axel would survive. Ground uh, and that also means a... Uh, and that... Uh, well, they, they're also using a lot of ground types. Yes. Never mind, Axel well, died immediately. Damn it. Um, okay, pig. <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> Please do literally anything. Oh, they, they took it in. Oh. Heal. Heal the pig. It's not gonna matter. Hold on, okay. So, what am I gonna do? Oh. You can revive the boy! Sorry, Truffle. Truffle Wait. is a valiant sacrifice. I know it's an even better sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> While no. you heal up your main guy. No. This is just the magic card. <laughs> Giving the bird a snack. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> he died. <laughs> okay. It's like, wait, didn't I beat this sh little shit? Don't you have other potions that can oh my heal? Yeah. Uh, the big one. Burn. Oh, he left. Oh, fuck you. Hell yeah. Uh. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, he was supposed to do that. I thought the king was having a tantrum. Sure, you could revive the boy. Just hit the girl. Right. You actually want to kill this because it upgrades your your dinosaur. Right, you managed to get to the to the Titan somehow, huh? Oh, I didn't do the voice. So that's the open sky Titan. Wait, is this Titan? What's what's been dropping on those borders? I was lucky enough to get sneak up here because I had all his attention on you, little bud. It looks like it was trying to power itself up, like some kind of mystical meal powder or something. So we better be ready and go all out. Do my Pokemon get healed up? No. Oh, come on! Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm fucked. Yeah. Does he at least help me? Yeah, Yeah, he's got he his Pokemon out there trying to help. Trying to drop rocks on, on folks is dangerous. Let, let's give this good thing taste of defeat. Yeah, so now you've got an ally. And he's using the Mario Mushroom. <laughs> and of course they attack me first, fuck you. How did that the bird happen? avoided rock throw. Yeah. Why is it going after me? The bird is smart and knows which is the greater threat. Either that or the bird is dumb and thinks that the other one is the greatest threat and wants to kill them last. Because the bird has never played any basic RPG. <laughs> the bird is... The bird literally has a bird brain. Torment. Try stealing from the bird. Can you steal from the bird? Maybe. Oh wait, no, that was yes, on the pig. Baby. I don't think the bird has a baby right now. 
<laughs> Every time the bird gets hit. Oh god! <laughs> and he fainted. <laughs> Just bashed the bird straight into the ground. All the birds die. <laughs> you defeated Titan Bumper Deer. The bird just got all death four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the ambassador said the bird is the word. Well, right? Is the bird the word? The thing is, I don't want to say it, but look at what I have to say for the character. Yes. <laughs> yeah. God that is a it, very homosexual you. man if I've ever seen one. Yes. Way to go, Aaron. Looks like we don't have to worry about more boulders falling on us now, huh? I think I'm making him sound like a redneck. <laughs> It's like a very gay redneck. <laughs> yeah, a very gay redneck. There has to be more of that Herba Mystica if it, it ain't in here. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan can come back for another go at God us. God damn it! Stupid fucking giant guy with four arms just beat the shit out of me. Is my voice distracting you? It's, it's not a machoke. It's Machamp Dragon, not Machoke. It's <laughs> not a Machamp either. It's not a Pokemon. It is a Pokemon if you think hard enough. Why don't you no, step? It's, it's pretty dark. Goro, Goro is not a goddamn Pokemon. Shut the fuck up. I don't know. Well, I don't know Goro. So, and to me, anyone named Goro is a furry. Shut up. Anyway, no way. Oh, look. It's, it's what's keeping Ash young. <laughs> Weed. This is one of the Hera Mystica. It's exactly how it looked in the book. It's weed. Shut up, dragon. It's Look at it. That it looks nothing like weed. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yes! What do you mean? You say look at it. Use your eyes and look Shut at the it. And up. the evidence with my <laughs> eyes is completely Shut divergent up. from whatever Shut you're hallucinating I, I over there. I can't hear you. La 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 la. I can't hear you're you. You're definitely a child if you say that. Very appropriate for the child. Yes. Anyway, I did that in very much intentionally. Thank yes. you for noticing sure that you I did, did that. something. Ha ha ha. Very intentionally. Please shut. The <laughs> anyway, yes, we actually found one, and it's all thanks to you, Aaron. Now then, let's see what does the book have to say. Bitter Herba Mystica is great for your circulation. It really gets the blood flowing. And then it warms you right up nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system. Or so it says. Goddamn giant guy with big arms. Now if I can get him to eat some. Alright now, that's time to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. Yeah, this guy's like entire character is he's very passionate about cooking. It's honestly adorable. Alright, before I continue to read, I gotta send Hatchet a message. Oh dear. You're not the one who should be saying oh dear. Right. <laughs> Am I, I wrong? Not really. <laughs> oh, that man gives such flaming homosexual vibes. There you go. And I've been a regional sandwich pack full of hugs. Listen, listen, looking at his hair, there's only two options. He's either flamingly homosexual or a Disney villain. There's no in between. I don't know how to break this to you, but I'm pretty sure most Disney villains are, in fact, gay. And that's why Disney kills them. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so oh no, you're you're still very much right. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> that, you're right. That's not a joke. Even... You are correct. I don't even actually 
What are you talking about? In most Disney movies, Disney villains die at the end. I'm talking about the gay parts. Oh. Have you... have you seen them? Yes. I've seen quite a few Disney villains. I have never gotten the vibe of them being gay. Yeah, anyway. And I'll give you a, a badge, you know, as a thank you for taking care of that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan Badge. Made it myself using a round cut of these gym badges, see? <laughs> the picture. <laughs> we don't look like we want to eat it. Oh. Uh... I can do an explanation it. about the. About the. Oh. Ah, what's up with that thing? It just comes out of his ball on its own whenever it wants. Hey now, no, that's not for you. You didn't bite. You can say no, by the way. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna be an ass to him. Hey, I went through all the trouble of making that for you, and you just gave it away. Yeah. I hope you realize that that's all there was. So now there's none left to you. Totally fine. Oh, come on. You're just making me feel like I'm a su I'm the selfish jerk here. Ah, you kind of are. Here, you can take half of mine, but you better s savor every last bite. Oh, you already ate that whole thing? Something tells me that was a good idea. Wait, Mariah Don will be able to move across the water now. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to refer what we did in the pool earlier? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe it's just a better version? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a quicker version. What? What? Hey, is it me or is this thing sort of powered up somehow? Good dude. Well, I can't believe it. The power of these hooves really is worth, worth guarding. If they had that big effect on your Pokemon, then I bet. Uh, I bet it will come in super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we get. Yep, that's what I bet. Well, you both filled your bellows with something of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy everything up. I think Hatchet really hates the voice I gave this character. <laughs> yes, I do. Very much so. But don't, don't you worry about helping. After battling the Titan, you've earned a break. Just leave this all to me. They'll be... No, I'd be much obliged if you get start on searching out the remaining four Herbie and Mystica for us. And we never see him again. Yeah, he just fucking dies. He just explodes off screen. I really owe you. Wait, what? Okay, the coast is clear. Oh, oh yeah. You can come out now. Oh, it's not it's not bad. It's actually kind of sad without giving too many spoilers. It's it's sad. It's sad. I'm guessing that one penny girl is following them. Well, we're I'm not, not doing spoilers. Anything. Anyway, yeah, I'm not saying anything. Hello, Aaron Bright. This is Turo. I'm gonna take that Mariodon has gained some of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems it, sh it should now be able to move across water. I hope you'll be able to continue to explore how to deal with Mariodon as you have done here. Your route is not fixed, but open before you. Seek out your own path using your map and the tools you have at hand. Whenever you find your curiosity peaked, you should go and explore as your heart desires. All that you experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. Go forth on your journey and take good care of Mariodon for me.
Okay, so where's the gym? Because that's what I was looking for. Well, wait a minute. Did I actually just do the Sky Titan thing? And not actually the next gym? I'm, I'm guessing, yeah. Yeah, that seems to be what you did. But I mean, it's good, because you got... You got upgrade to mo motor dyno. Oh, I gotta go to... I gotta... Oh, I probably have to do one at a time. So now I gotta do Starfall Street, and then I can do the gym. Because it's closer. Alright. Are you sure? I think so. I thought well, you could do this lines, like, all at once, and then... Well, I can, but I'm people? just gonna do it that way. Because it's quicker. Oh, okay. What's that? That... Wait, is that the evolution to the cricket? I think, I think so. yeah. He just gets metal blades on his thing. <gasps> Wee! What is that? What the fuck is that over there? Well, that's a titan. Well, I'm not trying to fight another titan. I already got <laughs> my Pokemon are damaged already. Well, wait a minute. You are Aaron. So this is Ghost type. Oh, I can deal with this because I got a Dark type move. All right. Well, you aren't even gonna react to my stupid joke, fun jeez. I didn't even hear what you said. Uh, I said you are Aaron. Oh fuck! Oh fuck off! <laughs> I don't get it. Aaron, Titans. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God dumbass. <laughs> You're a dumbass. Oh, this is a new Pokemon. <laughs> Wait, is it a Dun Beetle? <laughs> Looks like it. It's it's called Relor. They don't really have that. They do now. They did two. HP. Okay, that's a hundred percent a dumb beetle, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, we're beating the living shit out of it. It's not a bit it's not very good at being a good dumb beetle. <laughs> no, it's not. Dumb beetle. Boom. Does Hatchet like dumb beetles? Not particularly. They're just dumb beetles. They're just doing their thing. Wait, if I shit near a dumb beetle, would, would, would it roll up my shit? I would assume, oh. yeah. Please. <laughs> Please stop. Why? It's the issue. We're talking about dumb beetles. We're just t saying what they do. I do. What? You, you wanna know? Talk in complete utter have. nonsense and annoy everyone in the server. <laughs> I'm sorry. As, ask for things constantly over and over again in quick succession. <laughs> that's just being, that's just mean. <laughs> You're you just asked. being mean. That's not even funny. You're just being mean. It's not funny when you do it either. I'm sorry, dragon. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Anyway, what you were saying? I don't even know anymore because you were just being mean. <laughs> we'll never know. Well, again, you have to know that you've been annoying quite frequently. Oh, okay. So they censored crap. Hold on, let me show you. Relor, rolling Pokemon. <laughs> it rolls its mud ball around while the energy in it, it needs for evolution matures. Eventually, the, the time comes for it to evolve. Oh, Jury responded. Spood likes the trapdoor spider like real Spood. I like this. I like the evolution. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to keep Spood as a team member, though. Because bug types aren't normally strong. They can easily be taken out. If I... I want to get that Ice Dragon. So there's a new Ice Dragon. Like Ice Poison anyway. Dragon, and I want it. Anyway, I'm going to head off. Okay. To go do stuff. Oh no, I'm being left alone with the child. That is unnecessarily mean. I'm sorry. I'm s I'm sorry, Dragon. What the fuck? Is that an evolution to palm me? Yeah. I found Palmy's evolution. It's Palmo! I want to kill it. And not capture it. Don't do that. Wait, it digged underground? <laughs> Fuck you! You know what I'm gonna do? Just because it said that? I am gonna swap it with Axel. That way, you can't even hurt him. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Palmo. Never mind. <laughs> 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 Just like instant. <laughs> I'm sorry, Axel. I'm sorry. Oh shit, how do I get back up to where I need to go? There's gotta be a way back up. I know a way up. No, it's not drugs. Hey, I'm um, back. Apparently, this house is home to the Quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking off and on and irk, making me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I just gotta sit down and rest a little before I go back. I get back to Titan hunting. Yeah, I'm not going after the damn Titan. Oh, Sandy Cobra. Sandy Cobra. When it dies, it drops silicon. Well, at least in Pixelmon. Oh look, Cacturn! It's it's a cactus Pokemon that follows people in the desert to wait till they die. Yeah, at night specifically, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I think that it's out during the day. I mean, I see where I need to go. It's up there. Actually, does this does this game work on real time or does it have its own like time system? Uh it is dark out right now, so no. You forget it's like ten twenty six PM for me. No, I know what time it is. I we Right. What? We live in the same time zone. Or do we? I'm sorry, I just... God damn it, I couldn't even see the damn thing. They made the Pokemon in this game to way too small, the models should have been larger. Yeah. I'm just waiting for a Pokemon that looks like an, a literal atom. Just to be <laughs> near atom sized. Just sitting there. I want to heal my Pokemon, then I'm going to go over, deal with the dark type people, beat their ass, then take care of the gym here. Wait, is Borkrum still here? No idea. Dragon. If you're here, give us a sign. Is Borkrum here. here? I don't know. I'm drawing. 
playing Grand Inferno being slapped by cheese. What's wrong with you? You know. Or do I? You do. Or do I? You do. Or do I? You do. Oh my gosh, I went underwater for a moment. The elevator's not going down. Sir? Oh, I had to go forward some. That's fucking stupid. Oh, well, he didn't say it, he just had to wait there. <laughs> also, I got my... I got my, uh... Nunchuck controllers and charger today. Oh, yeah. I delivered, so yeah. That means I'm fully prepared for the subathon. What the fuck are you doing on the subathon? This! I'm playing Pokemon all day. Oh. Yeah. But nunchucks don't last forever. Yeah. <coughs> They're eventually gonna die. Ah. Here we go. Cannoli here. I mean, Cannoli here. I see you're getting close to one of the team's star bases. I take the it. This means you decided to join my operation. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Does this mean Operation Starfall of yours has have room for one more member? This is just the fucking principle. Is it? Wait. Oh, I think it is. What? Who are you? The name's Clive. Oh, what so is. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to forget your hackles raised. I'm a pal of your mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Aaron? We're not pals. I guess, maybe. <laughs> Shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you join in for fun. I'm well aware. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get my job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think you heard my name earlier. Cannoli, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I s I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now back to business. Let's start Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you like to have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of the Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their role somehow? That's right, Team Star is made of five squads. And each of their, these squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. What's good against Dark type? No idea. I actually forget. Uh, I can uh, look it up. Yeah, look it up. Ah, uh, yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of, of those is the base proper. And somewhere within a base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Uh, we- oh, bug, fairy, and fighting. Oh. I wonder why bug, but yeah, bug, fairy, and fighting. You have all those types. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm good. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Mm -hmm. Well, let's just 
The outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges for each base under your name, Aaron. They're basically decorations of war. Now all of the Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. That we're looking for a fight. Fucking Discord. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and then step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainers should be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to the operation, Aaron. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. What are you doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright. I think that's Penny. What will my role be? I'm sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as the Aaron Wright's support. Or cautious one, alright. I respect that. I'll be in touch again from the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Well, go get him, Aaron. Director Clavel? I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing, le nothing less. Sure. Time to whoop your asses. Just black screen. Okay, there it goes. Well, 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 hold it, you. Up ahead is the base and operations for Team Star Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the Siegen Squad. Yep, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, Amiga, we won't have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that Aaron Bright kid? You know the piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Maybe I am, she says. Cool as a cucumber. Honestly, honestly, it's not always the best policy, you know. Ugh, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are, you're not getting through. Let's all forget thrashed by, by me in battle, kid. What'll it be? I'll take you on. Ugh, sexy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stumped into the dirt. Ten seconds later, I kick his ass. Or her ass. Yeah, I kick her ass. Incinerate! Oh yeah, that was effective. And... Your Marco's dead. Why does Sister Sassy can't have to be so strong? Or how the heck could I lose? Well, whatever, it's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. She's new to the team, you know. Might have a little chat with her about that attitude. Uh. Well, I'm gonna go to the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at you full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, Amiga. I love a V-Star! 
Okay, he was actually nice. Mm -hmm. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now hold up in the base is Team Star Start Crew, the Sajin Squad. Their boss... Gaia Como... Uh, no, Koma. The bo their boss, Koma, pretty much runs the whole of uh, Team Star. And he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war wouldn't have rifled him in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts and finish you off himself. No use us trying to outthink strategy types like him. Bring him down with a head on attack. Just keep on defeating, defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off hit this phase of operation. Time to wipe out the Citrus Squad off the map. I'm gonna need to get more potions. Yeah. I just realized that I need potions. Before I fight more children and send them to an orphanage. Like you're right, sure, but <laughs> I'm right, so it's not fucked up. No, it's still very fucked up. Or is it? No, it yeah, it, it is. Or is it? 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 It very much is. Or is it? Right. And y'all were the one calling me annoying. I like being an annoying asshole. You can tell. <laughs> Dragon, we do care about you and everything. We care about you and everything, but some things you do are are annoying. Just to let you know. Wait. Yes. Let's buy all the potions. Let's make them all go out of stock. No one else can have these potions. Only me. Dragon, you can't have these potions at all. nothing you can do about it. Okay. Or is there? I said it to myself. I think I was trying to go to this one. Over here, unless this is also Team Dark. The part of Team Star, you're not getting through. Oh, okay. Oh, look, it's Bombardier! I did not mean to fight the goat. Don't want to waste moves. Dragon, do you believe in me? That I can win? No. No. Well, now I'm gonna lose, because you said that. Good. It's all your fault. Okay. And if I lose, it's even more your fault. And if you win? It's even more your fault. Good, yeah, okay. I don't <laughs> think you can. Careful now, Aaron Bright. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it Star Barrage. To get through, you need to use the R button to send out multiple p Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. Runs will be face facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. So getting some 
jumped up kid has wandered in thinking she could raid our base. Clearly she doesn't know what she's messing with. Let's teach her a lesson she won't forget. Our, to our unwanted guests, if you defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 30 minute, 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. Alright, time to get your asses whooped. I can't wait to get credit for this either way. Where are they going? You need to auto battle them. Oh my gosh, she crawls! Yeah, I'm whooping y'all asses. What's she gonna do about it? Where's the next Pokemon at? I'm hearing them, but I don't know where they're at. Oh, there they are. Truffle defeated Sandile. Wow, I'm just being the living shit out of baby Pokemon. Yep. Don't you feel good? Yes. Truffle is not doing well. Yeah. Gwen Inferno is just beating the shit out of everything without getting hurt. Now he's gotten hurt. I only need three more. All right, bitches. Oh no, Truffle died. Boom. Does he get healed? She's way above her level. We gotta get the boss. Oh, what the fuck? The fuck is this? Rock. And Homo on it. Yep. Boss of Team cool. Stars Dark Team Coma. It's just dark screen. Okay, there it goes. You've done a real number on this party, Crash. Yeah, I'm right, was it? I am Coma. At the deck, I go for DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll pay your sick requirement as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. I'm about to whoop your ass. More dark screen. Okay, there it goes. Oh, well, well, you're gonna die quickly. But I think anything to do with playing War and Team Stars is a real bad move. What level is it? 21. Oh, but the thing is, he's weak to fire. <laughs> Boom. Boom. 
and now I'm just gonna super power my fire type move, and it's gonna one shot. Him. <laughs> Prepare to die, bitch. Oh, of course you move first. Fuck you. That's an open trick. I'll spin a, a good party crash. <laughs> Instant death. <laughs> so, rev of room. So I'm up the tempo. Right? This show ain't over yet. Is the music good? I'm guessing there's music. Yeah. Also, yeah, I'm pretty sure that car is a Pokemon. Oh. Okay. Can I catch the po that po type of Pokemon? Hmm. Out in the no. wild. Do I have... Which kind of sad, but, you know, whenever she happens. Could be a DLC Pokemon. Yeah. Well, Red Inferno fainted, but I've lost one, and he and he lost one, so it, it's fair. Oh, Ralts will be good. All right, Ralts, or AKA Eris, goddess of chaos. Let's do this. Live. Fuck! Of course you do a critical hit! Fuck you! You're cheating ass! I mean, they did kind of give you a head up that this motherfucker's quite strong. Yeah, but he, that was a critical hit. Yeah, crits happen. Live. Another critical hit! That is bullshit! That's utter bullshit. If it this is another Oh. Oh. <laughs> Super effective bitch. What you gonna do about it? Oh wait, no! Oh he lived! Yeah, fuck you, bitch! What you gonna do about it? And he died. <laughs> it was a critical oh, hit! Was... God damn it! I think that move might improve the chances of it getting a crit. Okay, so I'm gonna keep Axel in just to... I, I'm gonna... I'm Tim Fate, low kick. Oh, you avoided the attack! Oh, thank you, Axel. Oh, you did good damage. Damage, okay. Survive! Please! So, what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna revive Spood. Cause he was actually able to take it. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, Nishi Kogi, you did good job. You did good job avoiding that hit somehow. We don't know how you did it, but you did it. Now you die. Oh, he lived. I don't have any. Oh, I don't have any revival herbs. Or that would have been perfect. Okay, so. I don't know who to choose. 
else to revive. I think I'll just choose him because he can also take hits. Thank you, Nishikogi. You have saved us. Yes! Okay. I'm gonna attempt fate. Please do not die with a critical. Yes! Oh, oh thank you. Thank you, Spood. You have to message Spood now and just go thank you with zero contact. Yes. Now please use metal sound. Okay, that works. Cause he can take one more hit. With ease. He can take another hit. Yes! DIE! Fuck you! You defeated Coma. <laughs> Guess that's it. About a year and a half ago. Yes, that's that. What's that, Coma? Did something happen? Big Boss just wanted, wanted my take on stuff, so we had to chat and settle on a few plans. A few plans? Like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of members have joined up recently? We figured out how to make some team rules, like a code. So we'll be on the same page. Nice, so you've come up with a great code for us, won't you, Coma? Ha, no thanks. Way too much bullshit. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of student council, but you know, everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course, you know, I f you force a ton of stuff, stuffy rules on everyone, and they wouldn't take it. You got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male students' hair must stay no further than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. Rules where a vexation may manifest. My point exactly. So you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let, be let anywhere near this new code. But you know what's best for the team, Coma. Coma. You look out for us. Even our earned the trust many times over, without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck up present council press isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by Coma I'm looking at now. I f I'd fall that any day. As would I. Okay, okay. Thanks for your go boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. Did the best I could. But with that code myself. And there's no going back on it now. My days as boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? I'm just whooping ass. I'll give you this choice TM2. You earned it, fair and square. Ooh, foul play. Yeah, so that's how the party ends. Well, let's talk about those crazy Pokemon. Uh, talk about those Pokemon stuff, yes. They're crazy strong, huh? Y'all are those trainer chops at the candy. Like, what moves you you should use and stuff? Shit. Huh, okay. You like it at the academy? Having fun? I haven't told you. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you. Coma. 
Well, ho, huh, wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You can't a Quaxwell to style that up for you? I'm just... I'm just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure, I can tell you there's something annoying. It's gonna be something annoying, but I guess I, I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. Seems all of you as Team Star are headed for, ex for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending Classified Academy again? That's what you want to know? Want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal. Though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are, are they? They're, they're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. It's like how the top champions who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us uh, other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. And where's this big boss of yours now? We wouldn't, wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, must be a year and a half now. We thought if we kept Team Star going, then they'll get back in touch one day. But the teachers kept pressing on us to call us quits. And then we get party crashes like you do. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star did this big boss. So Team Star and this big boss of yours. They're really that important to you? Hey, Sky Blue. Let me put it in words you any hands at the counter you might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Can I stop staring at the star? Thank you. No. And I just beat Team Star's Dark Fortress. Heron, it's me. It seems Koma is no long no longer carries his star badge, the symbol of his status as a boss. He gave it to you, did he? I see. With it. With its boss out of the picture, the Sage and Squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Coma. Sorry, got caught in my thoughts for a second. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as pro as promised. You can I make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine? Okay. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs so you can make it the TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there, so much that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from the supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Hello? I'm, I'm Penny from the supplies unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. It's good to help. Oh, so you do remember? But, um, I'm helping out th with Operation Starfall as part of my independent, s in independent study, you know? The, the, the treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind, working behind the scenes. Discord, stop cutting me off! I'm getting pissed off, Penny. Discord. So here you go. Your bonus reward from... Cannoli. Pass a roll. You should be able to make tons of TMs with those. And Cannoli said you'll get more rewards each each time you take one of Team Star's bosses. So, uh, so um... I heard you all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems like you are pretty amazing. If the trainer is strong as you on our side, I'm sure operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so um, good luck. So yeah, all right. Yeah, my Pokemon have seen better days. <laughs> I 
I probably should have given yeah. Pounce to him before I went into battle. So I'm pretty sure Bounce is stronger than Struggle Bug, so... No one can learn a foul play. Ooh! Now, Spood can be useful. They can use grass-type moves. Spood's more useful now. 